Hi Leo. Today I'm going to be doing your daily. First I'm going to say thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that these readings are general and may or may not resonate. Take what you can and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for more insight. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button. Okay, Leo, we have the King of Swords. Could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or somebody who is constantly thinking logically. Yeah, the Hangman, they're trying to see things from a different point of view. The chariot could be dealing with the um, a cancer, but you're trying. This person is trying to look at things from a different perspective and pertaining to moving forward. With the six of cups, this can be someone from your past, or this can be someone you view as a soulmate. Yeah, this person wants to work on things with you, or you want to work on things with this person. And the seven of cups. Because there's some confusion. Because somebody was left out in the cold. Because of possibly some juggling that was going on. Maybe this is you or your person. I see a lot of pinnacles. So Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. I, always have, I also have a lot of cups. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Yeah, with the Ace of Wands. They are juggling with the idea of uh, sleeping with two people. Or having a uh, passionate new endeavor with someone. I still look at that as sex. Yeah, and this is creating a fight. Leo, this is your card, but you're happy. You're happy with the situation being as chaotic as it is. I feel like because you want to have your cake and eat it too. And please keep in mind that these roles can be reversed. So if this is not you, this is somebody else um, being happy about basically being a player right now. This could be another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Gemini, Libra, or Scorpio, or a Cancer, I'm saying, with the Chariot. Yeah, with the Queen of Wands, they have a side person. I view this as a sexy person that they keep in the background. I don't know. I've always looked at the, the Queen of Wands as being a mistress. Yeah, the Empress. So, either you or this person might be uh because these are two different women clearly they have on two different outfits either this person has you in a third party situation or you have someone in a third party situation and you are actually happy with the both of them they're not looking at each other so they might know about each other and they might like be pretty spiteful towards each other but if not There are definitely three people here. A man and two women. Take it however it resonates. Yeah, with the five of cups. Someone is going to be leaving you soon. I feel like I'm reading for male Leo. But again, I, this, I could be reading for a woman Leo. And this could be happening to you. This could be a male in your life. Yeah, you're going to be guarded. from this Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Yeah, because they wanna, um, they want to come back together with you with the Three of Cups. After they broke your heart, or you might've broken their heart with a third party situation, it's two threes here. Okay, with the moon and the lovers card, I feel like 
this whoever this person was hiding maybe a gemini or um maybe they were hiding a decision that they needed to make in love between two people but there are definitely secrets here yeah i feel like you might have known this because with the death card maybe this person tries to break up with you or maybe you feel like um Wow, I'm getting that energy of somebody wanting to break up with somebody. Maybe you wanted to break up with them. Yeah, but I also see you secretly wishing. Maybe that's what the moon card is. You're secretly wishing to get back with this person. Yeah, you're hoping that they pick you. Yeah, that's the secret. The judgment card, yeah. You want this person to take you back or you want to go back to this person? And this is a heavy burden for you. because you want to work on this yeah you've thought about it what is this person's energy what is this other person's energy what is this other person's energy spirit what is this other person's energy the seven of swords I feel like this is definitely a Gemini Libra or Aquarius if not this can be a Aries, Leo is Sagittarius. But somebody is absolutely being sneaky in this situation. Yeah. With the six of coins, they were given to two people. And someone left. It might have been you. But I feel like that whoever this was that did something wrong to you, they want you back. Or you want them back. Yeah, they're trying to see things from a different perspective with the hangman. Yeah, after dealing with this, uh, maybe this Aries Leo Sagittarius or somebody who was very attractive to them, that was passionate. No card. Okay, so I'm gonna start picking from the top if it doesn't come out because this is a long shuffle. All right, spirit, please give me some cards for Leo. Six of Wands. This person wants to be victorious with you. Could be someone from your past. Yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune, they're waiting for things to turn in their favor. Yeah, they've been holding on to you, Leo. Could have been a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus with the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this person again with Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, they see you as their husband, or they see, they see, yeah, they see you as their husband. This is their point of view. Yeah. They see you as very loving, nurturing, or caring, or maybe they want to nurture and care for you. Okay, with the three of swords, though, somebody is hurt. Somebody is entirely too hurt in this situation to go back, I feel like. I don't know why, because this person has their back turned towards the, the Queen of Pentacles, which is love. Okay. Yeah, so with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles here, this person might be trying to decide whether or not they want to have this new passionate and stable start with you, even though you're wishing for it. Okay, Spirit, give me some cards for the outcome. That reading seemed a little off to me. Let me know if it resonated with you. If not, I'll do another one tonight. That one definitely seemed a little off. Um... But if it resonated with some people, I'll leave it up. Okay, Spirit, please give me some advice and the conclusion. 
to this, but it's the outcome, the conclusion. Again, you can be dealing with a, a, a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, but somebody is going to be coming in with an offer. You need to follow your intuition with this. Yeah, because they want to reconcile with you. They'll be rushing in very quickly. Because they love you and they see you as their person. Yeah, they'll even probably be offering sex. Advice? One more for advice? Take this new leap with this person. All right, thank you guys.